I'm out here all alone in the middle of the night but still I just feel so good <laughs> it's so beautiful the moonlight is so strong tonight and I'm really thankful for that because otherwise it would be total darkness <laughs> it's so heavy to walk with all my camera equipment and all my stuff this is the second time I walk okay let's go so much right now because I fell down in this hole and it was really deep the snow was covering this hole so I didn't see it at all and I had all my camera equipment on and I was carrying that bag so I was really heavy give me your happy, give me your sad. I have only slept for like three hours the last two days but it's so weird because I, I don't feel tired at all I just feel so energized Come to my table, come to my bed, go easy my hunger, easy my head. I use these snowshoes so that I can walk wherever I want to, no matter how deep the snow is. Taking me down. It's kind of creepy here because when you walk a little bit out on the ice you can fall down in like really deep holes i've done that twice now and it's it's a bit scary this freaks me out <laughs> So I'm here at our cottage in the mountains right now and I have already been here for a couple of days. <laughs> okay, sorry for that. So yeah. I felt that I needed to do something else and see something new <laughs> to get some new inspiration. After Christmas and New Year's I felt really empty. <laughs> I had no inspiration, I just felt tired and I don't know, I felt that I needed to boost myself with some new energy. So I'm just really happy that we have this cottage here. So I can just go here for a couple of days and I'm just out filming all days from sunrise to sunset and then in the evenings I'm just editing films, making music or you know working on different things and I, I really like it. So now I don't feel so stuck anymore. Now I feel like the energy has started moving again. <laughs> but actually I'm gonna go home today because I'm gonna go to Stockholm, <laughs> the capital of Sweden. The total opposite to this place. <laughs> I very rarely go to Stockholm or to any city at all. I just really don't like <laughs> the city so much. But now I'm gonna go there and I actually look forward to it. I'm gonna go to Stockholm to meet up with Sonja, who's my 
contact person on YouTube. For like one and a half year I've been part of something called YouTube Partner Program, which is like a online education on YouTube almost. Every second month or something I have a Skype meeting with Sonia, uh, she works on YouTube and she helps me understand YouTube better. We go through my analytics to understand my audience and my videos and everything and, and I also get to know more about the latest updates or if there's any important things to know. When you reach 1 million subscribers on YouTube you receive a gift from YouTube which is called golden play button. I'm basically going to Stockholm to meet up with Sonia and receive my golden play button and we're also gonna have a dinner afterwards to celebrate. Yay! <laughs> so I better start packing all my stuff uh, because it takes a while to, to get to the car now because you can't drive to the cottage because of all the snow. So I have to go back and forth many times with all my stuff. <laughs> so I see you in Stockholm. hotel in Stockholm and uh, I've been sleeping for an hour <laughs> because I was so tired. I didn't sleep at all last night and I didn't sleep on a train so um, yeah but now I feel ready I'm gonna go out now and meet up with Sonia. I am always so confused when I'm in the city. I don't know really where I'm going. <laughs> back home again. I just don't feel like myself in a city. But I had a great time there. 
Uh, first I met up with Sonia at the Google office in Stockholm and I received the golden play button <laughs> which is huge! I didn't thought it was gonna be so big so I had to carry it around in my arms all the evening. Uh, so after that we went to eat some dinner and we went to an exhibition and then I actually went back home in the evening next day with the train. So now my golden play button is hanging here on the wall and thank you guys again for 1 million subscribers. It's crazy. So if I have a shitty day I can just look at the golden play button and think of all of you guys. It feels like I have 1 million people that's got my back. And that's a good feeling. <laughs> so thank you guys. So every time I've been to a city for a few days I always feel like I fall in love with my home again when I get back. It's such a big contrast and when I'm in a city I always get reminded of how I felt before I moved here. When I'm in a city I feel like I get disconnected from something. It's like I no more have access to a huge part of myself, of who I am. It feels like I just shrimp, shrimp, shrink? I mean shrink. So when I lived in Gothenburg before I moved here I remember I always felt like I had something inside of me that wanted to bloom out but I just didn't have the right conditions to do that. It felt like the city distracted me and enclosed me down in a way. But when I moved here I immediately felt how something opened up. And I still feel that same feeling every time I go to a city and then I go back home again. I feel it so strong how something closes down in the city and then when I come here it's like something opens up. I receive all these ideas that just comes flowing in a way. I can't, I don't know how to describe it, but I feel it so strong. I am sure that so many of you guys can relate to this because I know I have so many followers who also love nature. So it's actually kind of good to to go to a city sometimes because it gives me perspective. I love to live far away from traffic and rush hours and shopping centers and coffee shops and street lights. Instead I have all this space to myself. I can expand how much I want, I can run in any direction, I don't bump into anyone. <laughs> I can breathe this fresh air every day, every season. And I can listen to the silence and the birds and the wind and I can see the stars and the northern lights and I really want to remind myself to feel grateful for this every single day because it's truly one of the biggest gifts I ever got in life to live like this. So this is the first vlog in 2020 and before I end this vlog I thought it would be a good opportunity to ease my heart <laughs> to talk with you about something that I've been feeling really bad about for a long time. It's actually a feeling that I've had for many years but it's definitely got worse the last year and I just don't know how to solve it. I've been carrying around this feeling in my heart that there is hundreds or even thousands of people that are disappointed on me. And now it might sound like a really serious problem, but it's not. I'm aware that it's it's mostly in my head or in my heart maybe. Uh, and I'm sure that a lot of you will think that this is not a big deal. But for me it is. <laughs> it's been a big deal and I realize now that I don't want to bring this heavy feeling in my heart into this new year. I need to find a way to deal with this and to let go of it. The only way to let go of this feeling is to share this with you and to explain and hopefully reach out to as many people as possible that are affected by this in some way. You will understand soon. I started to become more active here on YouTube like one and a half year ago and my channel grew really really quick, or for me at least it's really quick. And one thing that happens when you reach millions of people around the world is that you of course receive much much more emails and messages and, and comments and, and something we also received a lot is uh, letters and gifts from people, like from all over the world. You have no idea how many beautiful mails and letters and gifts that we have received. It's I can't find the words to describe. It's like my heart melts every day. <laughs> There's so many people that, you know, put their heart and soul into something and give us 
or share with us, they open up their heart, they, there's so much love. And now you might think, what's the problem with that? <laughs> and with that, it's no problem. That's just so beautiful and we are so grateful. The problem is that I have felt so bad for so long now that I have not been able to answer and give thanks to all these people. And I guess most of you definitely understand that you can't have the time to answer everyone personally. It's impossible. And for me, it's no problem when it comes to like my social platforms. I, I'm totally aware that everyone understands that I can't answer all the comments and stuff. But when people have put so much time and effort in writing us a letter or sending us a gift that they made themselves or something like that, then I have a really hard time to receive that without giving thanks personally. And it would not be impossible to answer if it was only once in a while, but it's like hundreds of mails and letters and gifts every week. And it has only become more and more now this last year. And I have been wondering how other people deal with that, like big celebrities or people that have millions of followers. Because I'm sure I'm not the only one receiving hundreds of fan mails and letters every week. And I guess it's something you have to learn to deal with. But still, I think it, it doesn't matter how many millions of followers you have, you will always be the same person. I will always be Jonna, the same person. I will always feel a natural reaction to want to give thanks to someone that gives me something beautiful. I want to show my appreciation. It has come to a point now when it's even hard to find the time to read everything. And when we receive letters and gifts, I, I don't just want to open them immediately, like in the kitchen and, and rush away. I want to open them when I really have time to be present and, and read and take it in with my heart. So sometimes it even takes weeks before I open a letter, but then it has come hundreds of more. And I feel this wave of love from all these people, but I feel stuck because I don't know how can I show them my appreciation because there is impossible for me to write back to them all personally and thank them. And if I do decide to write back to someone to thank them, it, it's not that I can write something in three minutes and be like, thank you so much. I, it's like, it takes an hour for me to write. <laughs> it's, oh. So yeah, this is why I felt so bad. My biggest fear is that there are people out there that thinks that I didn't appreciate their gift or their letter or their mail because I never wrote back or said thank you. It would totally break my heart if that's the case because it's the opposite. I feel so much gratitude and appreciation and that's why I feel so heavy in my heart because I don't know how to deal with this. I don't know what to do. I save every single letter and gift that we receive. I have a big box of letters from people that have wrote to us and uh, you know, I feel so much gratitude, but the other side of this is that I feel like I've made so many people disappointed because I have not even said thank you. But I'm totally aware that 99% of all the people that gives us something or write us something, they just want to share, they just want to give us something. They don't expect anything back. And, and I try to convince myself that, but still it's hard. It, I have really tried my best to, to thank people, but it has become impossible because if I have some time over and I think that maybe I can answer two or three people tonight and then I open this box of letters and I'm like, where, where should I begin? Who should I answer? And I just get overwhelmed and I'm like, ah. some weeks ago I realized that I can't go around feeling bad because of this, because I can't solve it, I can't deal with it. It's not going to be easier. So I thought that it was time to share this with you and explain how it is. So I really hope that if you have ever sent me anything, like a mail or a message or a letter or a gift, and you have not even received a simple thank you, it's not because I'm not thankful. I am so thankful and I wish with all my heart that I could have told you that personally but the situation is overwhelming and I can't so I'm sorry for that it would mean so much to me if I knew that everyone understands so that I can let go of this heavy feeling in my heart that I that I have disappointed people so now you know and it already feels easier in my heart 
since it's impossible for me to reach out to all of you <laughs> writing to me personally, I have to learn to think in another way. Maybe I can think that a way of giving thanks is to just continue doing what made the person write to me in the beginning. To continue doing my videos or music or whatever. I hope you can see it that way. So yeah, it feels better now that I've told you this. Hopefully you will understand and I will try my best now to let go of this heavy feeling of not being enough and learn to, to deal with this in a much better way. That sounds like a good plan. Something else I want to learn this year <laughs> is to play this instrument. I actually played it in my previous video, the Frozen Call video. Just a really short uh, tune. This is an old Viking instrument called Buckehorn or Bockhorn. It's a goat horn or goat antler, I don't know what you say. And the sound is so ancient, it's so raw in a way. I love it. And for many many years I wanted to have this instrument. It's honestly the hardest instrument I've ever tried to play, but uh, I really want to learn. I started practicing a while ago, uh, but I usually want to be alone when I practice it, because otherwise my poor family is gonna listen to this sound, and if you can't play you sound like a sick elephant. <laughs> But I can do like one clear tone now, but there's like many different tones that you can learn to play and the higher the tones the harder it is to learn. But this year I'm gonna learn to play the Bukkehorn, so I look forward to make a video later where I play a whole song that I've made, that's gonna be fun. All right, folks, <laughs> enough talking for today. I'm gonna start editing this vlog now. Thank you so much for watching this video and uh, I love you guys. <laughs> Thank you for always inspiring me to make more videos and, and learn more. Now I wish you a wonderful week and I see you soon again. Bye-bye!